Going into the season this year, I was a little bit anxious uh, because I took the year off last year. Um, so coming into it, I was excited, uh, but a little bit anxious to get back out on the court with everybody and see how I would be able to flow with everybody else. Uh, so going into the season, I thought we had a lot of potential as a team. Uh, and personally for myself, being a senior, I was both excited and sad to start the season. Well, the first thing I can say is we had a lot of fun in practice. We worked really hard on our offense and defense all the time, but we also had time for fun playing each other, doing games at the beginning, okay. you know, getting us warmed up and stuff like that, and really improving our skills as a it's basketball carpet. team. Well, we know coaches set us up with the best opportunity to succeed, and we kind of tinkered around with a bunch of offenses, and we knew the defense was going to be great. You know how I like it when you love it on me. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. I got some brothers that outlive me They gon' tell the story was different with me God's plan God's plan I hold back sometimes I won't yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't uh, Coming into the season as a senior uh, It was a cool experience and a different experience As a leadership role um, Helping out the younger guys And I felt like this being my last year With the group of seniors that we had I was really happy to go out on this note I thought the regular season was awesome. We did exceptionally well. I mean, we lost a lot of close games, but at the second half of the season, we really turned it up a notch and won four straight games in a row. And I thought we did a really good job there. Uh, well, for me personally, the regular season was kind of tough because I was sidelined for most of it. Um, but being able to watch the team grow from the beginning of the season to where we were losing a lot of close games to the end of the season when we were winning them and closing out games on a strong note, it was, it was fun to watch. Uh, I thought it went really well. I thought we got better every single game. Um, I thought we really hit a stride during the season, which helped us like, surge into the playoffs. We turned it up towards the end, which is what we needed to do. And so overall, you know, I couldn't ask for a better senior season. Basketball game starting off with senior night obviously it was a packed crowd um, and we started off on a really really hot 
uh, hot start. That senior night, that was that was ridiculous. That game was super fun to play in. Like everybody was hyped. The crowd was packed. Going into the playoffs uh, by beating Issaquah at home on senior night was huge for us because we were we were starting to pick it up at the end of the season and get hot. And going into that game, it was a it was a winner go home. And having everybody there for senior night was huge, especially beating them like that. So beating Issaquah, uh, especially on senior night, it's probably my favorite game of the season. Um, and it was also a good coincidence that we played them a couple days later in the playoffs uh, since we had just beaten them. That second game in the playoffs, we knew it was our game from the start. We knew it was over in the first 10 minutes. Yo, Chuck, what's the move, man? I was on my way up here to the studio, you know what I'm saying? And this brother stopped me and asked me, yo, what's up with that brother, Chucky D? He swear he nice. I said, yo, the brother don't swear he nice. He knows he's nice, you know what I'm saying? So, Chuck, I got a feeling you're turning into a public enemy, man. Now, remember that line you was kicking to me on the way out to L.A. Lounge in Queens while we was in the car on our way to the shop? Well, yo, right now, kick the bass for them brothers and let them know what goes on. Rolling stones in the rap game, not bragging. Look bigger than Jagger, not sagging. It's brother backwards, I'ma leave it at that. That ain't got nothing to do with rap. Shut the backs, expose those cats. Who poses heroes, take advantage of blacks. The government's gangsters so cut the crap. A war going on, so where y'all at? Fight for power, cause great responsibility. After police, who's stopping you from killing me? Disasters, fiascos, a loop by PE. If it's I instead of we believe in TV. Spread the rich and bitches, it's who think about snitches. Watch them asses move the ass. Wait, I didn't make that. You did it to him twice, right? And as I told you, you play defense like that, you could beat any player. I mean, that was awesome. And the rebounding was so much better in that half. Execution on offense, you guys worked hard, got, got great shots. Hard head, I get a little jealous, you know what I'm saying? Just like that, you know, I try to bring you down with him. But yo, Chuck, you got to tell him just like that. Screaming gangster 20 years later. Of course, it does what consciousness faded. After the Balfour game, we were all still confident in our game. Um, and even though we were one loss away from the season being over, we all felt pretty confident, especially after beating Newport at home recently. We were confident going into that game and felt like we could get the job done. So it's time to leave you a preview so you too can review what we do. 20 years in this business, how yourself so she wins. People bear witness. Thank you for letting us be ourselves.
what tournament basketball is like. You cannot worry about even the last play, okay? It's just the next play. And I, that overtime was really, you guys were poised. The way you ran the offense, you got good looks, and you made them follow us, uh, which is what we wanted. So, just awesome. Um, obviously, beating Newport was a good step, but then we uh, figured out that we were playing Skyline, and they're, they're a hard team to guard because of their bigs. Um, and so I knew that was going to be an interesting test for us. And so uh, going to the Skyline game, which ended up being our last game, uh, we all felt really good. I think our energy was good, but unfortunately we ended up losing by one point. I think losing to Skyline, they're a good team, and they're really big, but we prepared really well for them, and we did as best as we could, and I thought we just had a great regular season all around. Losing in that, in that game was not our main goal for the season, and, you know, I can't say I have any regrets, but I, you know, de that one definitely hurt because that was not where we wanted to end up on the season. As a coach, we were watching you guys just battle, I and mean, that's what makes you proud. So, uh, one point, heck, I, you know, like I said, anything could have made that difference. So, um, I just, the, the hardest part is, uh, for your four seniors, you know, um, it's never easy to have the last game. I think definitely the most special special part about it was being able to be with these guys two and a half hours a day, two hours a day, whether it be film or at practice, and then being able to go out with them on the court on Friday nights was, was pretty special. Even though we lost to Skyline, I thought we had a really successful season. Um, I think uh, we went farther than previous years, and I think that was just success. And I know the future is going to be good. East Lake is special because we're very close and we're very tight knit and we're all friends with each other and we all like the same things and have the same passions and we all work really hard. We're all really hard workers here and we love the game. We have a great community surrounding us and I think everybody knows that we work with the community and we work with each other and we work with the coaches and really make the environment at East Lake awesome. And I think going forward, hopefully this class was a springboard to make East Lake a basketball school almost because I really feel like we filled up the seats a lot more this year, and hopefully this is kind of like the team that, that jump-starts East Lake basketball and really makes them a powerhouse.